Okay, everyone ready? Okay, cool. Uh, can I see that okay? Sorry about that. Uh, thank you very much for coming along. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank Ed for giving me this opportunity to present my stuff over here. Uh, so before I get started, I would like to ask a couple of questions to the audience. Uh, how many of you are using Selenium and PHP in your, in your testing? <laughs> okay, how many how many of you have the your test suite as a in a BDD fashion? Say for example Cucumber or Techflow or Lightus. Yeah. Okay. Quite a few. Okay. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about acceptance test driven development with P hat and Selenium. So it's a little bit information about me. My name, my name is Shashi and my Twitter is shashikon86. Uh, we, some of the Symfony developers, uh, PHP developers, used to run one small group called London P Hat users. And yeah, I'm a PDD enthusiastic tester. So today we're going to cover about some brief concept about the acceptance test driven development. And I assume that nobody heard about P Hat. And that's why I would start from scratch. So we'll do some live demonstration and stuff. Then we will start about Composer and extension, which is brand new things for we have. Mm, then a few things about speeding up the BDD to write the get in part with the with sublime text to the browser automation with Selenium. And acceptance test and development with PR Selenium and how to uh, make our own field and HTML report uh, with the hat. So, so the idea behind acceptance test driven development is like uh, we got uh, we got some feature parts and we will discuss with our customers or uh, within a team. So we got different stories uh, stories underneath that and. Once we got all the stories, the next step would be like uh, to gather the stories and distill it properly. Like we come together as a team, like testers, developers, project managers come together and add more scenarios, discuss the stories uh, uh, in detail so that we can, we as a team, gather the requirement properly and uh, design the proper scenario so that our acceptance criteria is get locked at this stage. Uh, the next step is to write acceptance tests and implementation. So developer may start with uh, writing their uh, step definitions or designing their classes. And within that period, testers put to like writing executable specification, maybe in Gherkin or uh, some other domain specific languages. Mm. Once we do that, like uh, tester wrote the executable the specifications, developer implemented their implemented classes, and after that, it should be like tester write an executable specification, implement some step definitions, then we got automation, like we got all feature files, features automated at that stage. So briefly, the idea is like to get acceptance criteria, then Try to automate a task collaboratively uh, with your team, so in, uh, involving everyone in the team, like project managers, developers, or scrum master, or 
maybe business analyst. So everybody involved and write acceptance tests. So first, you know, at the first slide it would spelling or undefined as the we implement some step definitions to make it pass. And once we our test pass, then we call automated story. So this is the basic idea about the acceptance test development. <coughs> so now we switch over to the main topic. So B hat. So B hat is uh, basically a new tool, but it's not really a new concept because uh, it comes under the all the ideas of B hat are taken from the cucumber. Like uh, cucumber has uh, some libraries underneath it to browser automation or uh, software development. So it's B hat sits in the same family. Like uh, most of the ideas that B hat took is from cucumber. So I would say it's like a cousin of cucumber. So the idea that taken from cucumber is to like implement. Uh, the same ideas in the PHP applications because before that there, there were no no BDD tool for PHP application and the BHAT is the first ever tool for the BDD in PHP. So there were one cucumber version of uh, uh, cucumber version that can be used for PHP application called Cube for PHP, but that couldn't be enough for browser automation and all this stuff. So BHAT comes with another tool called MENC, which is a web acceptance testing framework. Uh, and the combination of BHAT and MENC can be used for our web acceptance testing. So it's like uh, Cucumber uses uh, some libraries like Capybara or uh, mm, Selenium for browser automation. So the same way like BHAT uses uh, MENC for browser automation. As MENC has different kind of kinds of drivers like Selenium 1, Selenium 2, uh, there are many headless drivers as well. So the B hat is maintained by this guy Constantin, who works in KNP Labs in France. Uh, he's most active in Twitter, so uh, his GitHub is there, and he's maintaining and doing all this stuff about that. And okay, uh, getting started with B hat. So you need some basic stuff they started so I assume that everyone is new to BHAT so you may you may need some PHP stacks like LAMP, BAMP or MAMP so or PHP involved uh, installed in your local host that would be also good. Then we need Selenium server for that and curl or duplicate. This thing curl curl or duplicate is uh, not like uh, get things complicated but it will make simpler. Uh, in terms of BHAT installations, there are lots of methods about installing BHAT, but we need to pick up the proper one for that. So most of the people live uh, low PA package, and PA package install most of the stuff like if you run some few commands, like uh, if you run this command, go to terminal and run these commands, you will get the installed right away. Yeah, uh, yeah, but this is uh, not recommended way for to install BHAT because now we've got more more suitable options, more easy option to install BHAT. So this option is called Composer. Uh, Composer is basically a uh, dependency management system in PHP applications. So Composer has uh, all the dependencies installed, and you just uh, request those dependencies using composer.json file. And whatever you need, like uh, PHP, BHAT, main, Selenium, all this stuff, you just you just mention it in a, your composer.json file and pull that dependencies from the Symfony component. So. So now let's create a new project and uh, create a composer.json file which looks like this. It has behind dependencies, then Selenium, WebDriver. So that's what, at this stage, that's what we need right now. And every behind project has some basic configurations. 
uh, which we keep it in a layer dot one file. So here we got the base URL of our applications and the driver, which is Selenium 2, we are using. So this is a, this is a very simple configuration that anyone can use for your project. So. Mm, So this is the project I the directory I created. This is a live demo, and it has a bi.yml file and composer.json file. So if you see the composer.json file, which looks like the same, uh, which I just showed you, and we see the bi.yml, which is kind of the same thing. So. Going ahead. The first step is to download the composer. And uh, when you download the composer, then you will get the composer.var file, which has uh, everything in it. And you need to install that composer.var file. Then you got all your dependencies. So let's do that. So when you use that, then you will get the composer dot far file, and then next step is to install that file. It will download uh, all the dependencies from the Symfony components, like uh, we got Gazelle, Selenium, PHP, and what are the necessary steps that we need to do uh, for BHAP. So that's an easy way to uh, install the BHAP because everything in there you are downloading, uh, downloading there. So we don't need to like uh, install everything else. Like we just mentioned in uh, one file. Because uh, using PL has some problem, like uh, you need to install some calcing packages or something like that. So it's there's a com compatibility issues. So this is the best way to. So once we we done with that, we we are ready to use PHAT. and we start PHAT by running command paint uh in it. So if it's, it's done, then use this command. So what it what it do is like it created the feature for uh, feature directory and uh, feature context file for you. So so feature directory is for writing your feature files and feature context is uh, feature context file is for writing your step definitions that you're gonna implement. So uh, we had to install the feature files and feature context.php files to implement our step definitions. Then another thing uh, is a mink extension. Like uh, previously every time when we used to uh, use phat and using the mink APRs then every time we need to create a mink instance and uh, use the mink API uh, after that. But this mink extension is a brand new thing and uh, when we extend our feature context file to the mink extens, then extension then uh, we don't need to create a mink in uh, instance then we can use mink API directly in our project. OK, uh, coming to the feature files. Uh, feature files are written in a Gherkin language. So Gherkin is a language so, which is in a given when then format. So it basically looks like this. Uh, three lines of feature, then we design scenario underneath that uh, in given when then format. So, so now uh, in here we can we can define one feature files like block search. 
So, for example, in order to search blog on this <coughs> our uh, Fox Labs website, then I need to see the blog. So, scenario we have designed is like uh, given I'm on the black uh, blog page when I feel uh, this particular search text box with the hat and I press search button, then I should see this particular blog, blog link. So, now in our project, uh, we will write this feature. And to write this kind of uh, get in stuff, you can use the behead cheat sheet, which is linked there, or Mink APIs. So it's basically a kind of combination of like uh, uh, achieving the browser automations by already implemented software or just uh, get their locators and all the stuff. So, so the speech parts are like quite a boring to type because uh, every time you need to write the same kind of features, same kind of scenarios. So there's a, in a, in a last meetup, we, uh, we came across the very, uh, very nice feature about the writing get in feature files uh, with a with a text editor called Sublime Text, uh, which has the behead and link snippets installed in it and you just you can just write zero feature files so quickly in that. Mm. So before that I will show you uh, I will take this project to the Sublime Text. Here is the, our feature state. Then we start writing new feature. I'll name it as a block search feature. But uh, there are snippets, so we can we can write the feature files so quickly. Like um, if I type feature over here, so it generates code. So it's like that. Then we want to type scenarios, that's scenarios, scenarios, like that. So we will write now uh, the basic simple feature call. <coughs> uh, I will keep it as it is because this feature calls in order to do that and it's not so much important. Check behind blog. So now, if you go to our uh, live website of source plans, here yeah, we are doing like uh, searching for particular blocks on this side. Uh, go to the blocks. We're putting some text in this uh, search box, pressing search button, then we're getting some details from that. So to do this, uh, I'll write given I'm on a blog page. So uh, given I'm on a blog page. It's like we can take the first few letters uh, of our uh, uh, scenarios, like given I'm on a page. So if you type G, I, and O, then you will get the snippets. Just uh, mention your page or that. And the next step is when I when I fill. So it will automatically uh, gives you options like what you want to do. So I now wanted to fill the value in this particular field. So now value is we had and of is so let me inspect this. It has ID S, so we can type S over there. Then you have to press the button, so type here. Uh, and I press button. 